Maravilhoso, maravilhoso. know that at this very moment people meeting in secret all over the country were holding up their glasses and saying in hushed voices to Harry Potter the boy who lived yeah hey man it's great to see you how you doing dude how are you oh, it's so nice to see you this is awesome this is incredible yeah last time we were here you were just just very, very slightly, <laughs> that's kind of you to say. Um, here we are. 20 years down the road. Yeah. It's kind of odd. How did it come to you? Like, I never, I would never get to ask this question. Like, how did you end up doing Harry Potter? I ended up doing it because Eleanor convinced me to read the books after I refused three times. <laughs> read these, finally. And then immediately I saw the movies. I saw them. And I, that hasn't happened since. Then I had to fly to Edinburgh, Joe Rowling, and essentially said... This is my vision. She said, that's exactly the way I see the movie. When the books came out, the kids of kids around the block. I mean, thousands of them all waiting for the late one. So many people were beginning to fall in love with J.K. Rowling's writing. I think I probably would have been about eight years old. I think that's when the first one came out. It became like our family thing. My dad oh, used to do all the voices and my brother and I just became obsessed. We would just beg him to going and every time he finished a chapter he'd be like one more one more please just one. i went for a sleepover at his house and he said well philosopher's stone's there on the bookshelf it's him reading chamber of secrets me reading philosopher's stone and that was it really i never looked back he walked away and of course while well, there's still one gentleman holding a boom mic straight over our head and this little girl asked me what's that i think he even said it's a mic duh no i was like they're filming us this is like a trick like as if i'd done it before really I remember it because it was Emma. The only known maker of the Sorcerer's Stone. The, the what? what? Don't you two read? Huh? Good job. It's lovely seeing you. Yeah, this is surreal, isn't it? How do we all feel being back in talking about this? But A, really emotional, <laughs> obviously. And B, it feels like no time has passed and loads of time has passed mm. simultaneously. Much time has passed. It doesn't feel like... We kind of earned a reunion yet. Yeah. I know, I know. I've had kidney stones and a baby, so time has obviously passed. You did mention that. I feel my age. But there yeah. is like, so there was one where they put all the three of us together. Mm. I do remember that when the three of us, something felt different right, and, yeah, and like yeah. right and easy. I do remember the click. I'm scarily like my character. <laughs> <laughs> so I live in a family of in a borough. Rupert is just the most camera ready 12 year old in the world at that point like he was so like just fearless rupert was ron you know and about becoming famous be cool <laughs> <laughs> we were all that much time together i know i, I know mean, i spent more time with you than i did my own children i know point. while oh, <laughs> i know i think most of my favorite scenes if i'm honest looking back are with you and haggard's heart I keep thinking about that scene when I get called a mudblood. Yes. And you were so sweet with me that day. Because yeah. it was like my first time. You know, big piece of... You <laughs> 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 oh, nice if you let us do this in your house. <laughs> I know, it's so nice. <laughs> you know what I've always wanted to do? Let me scan. Is get up here. Oh, look, they really don't look very well. <laughs> They're all still here. They're really still here. I mean, has anyone fed them? This is so sad. OK, now you can be Harry Potter. OK, thank you. <laughs> I'll go down the right, you go down yeah. the left. And let's race, OK? And your marks are go. Oh, God. I took a photograph of something. Last night, I thought, I'm going to just dig up these things. Hey, and I asked for your autograph. 
God, what did I write? Read it out. It's so nice to see you. <laughs> what does it say? Uh, uh, Dear HBC, yeah. it was a pleasure being your co-star and poster. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What a, what a clever pun I made when I was young. I'm honestly still kind you of pleased prophetic. with that. Yeah, yeah. Um, in the sense that I all ended up holding your coffee. I do love you. Then what does it say? <laughs> <laughs> you can share. Oh, we can share this. Now, I said I do love you and I just wish I'd been born ten years earlier. Oh. I've been in with a chance. It's right, <laughs> Lots of love and thanks for being cool. <laughs> Isn't it nice? I'll always treasure that. Thank you. That is in my toilet, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I got my teeth. Helen has brought her teeth. My teeth. I she has assured no. me that she's done literally to these in terms of cleaning. No, these are actual relic. It's 11 years and uh, yeah. yeah, it smells a bit wicky. <laughs> but um, you're just going to put them, the just going to put them right helpful. in your mouth. In they go. What do you think? Yeah, I'd forgotten. Do you, do you remember me? Oh, this is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> teeth helped. With the character? I think I wanted to be in camouflage. When I was first off, Joe sent me a secret message saying, like, there might not be much on the page, but she's going to do something significant. I killed you, didn't I? You killed me. Yeah. I'm hey, sorry. Um... Had to be done. And we had a real duel, and they cut the whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> I really yeah. messed up, because I just thought, I've been to one school for weeks. I felt we needed a director who could handle that Bang. in a way. David Yates works so well with actors. Emma is... I'm uh, not sure she wants to come back to do another Potter. Oh, Harry! People definitely forget what she took on and how gracefully she did it. Darren and Rupert, they had each other, my cronies. Whereas Emma was not only younger, she was... she was... I did find a diary entry that was kind of like... Mm. I can see that at times I was lonely. We never talked in the film because we were all just kids. To another 14 year old be like, hey, how are you doing? Like, is everything okay? It was when things started getting spicy for all of us. Mm. What you were considering, yeah, I never really spoke to you about this. Yeah, I think, um, scared. Yeah. I don't know if, if you ever felt like it got to a tipping point. This is kind of forever now. Yeah, no, I had moments like that kind of all the way through. I also had kind of similar feelings to Emma kind of contemplating what life would be like if I called it a day. But um, we never really spoke about it. I, I guess we were just kind of going through it at our own pace. We were in the moment at the time. It just didn't really occur to us, kind of probably having similar similar feelings. Yeah, um, the fame thing had finally hit home in a big way. It had to convince me to see it through the fans genuinely wanted you to succeed and we all genuinely have each other's backs. How great is that? It's always amazing meeting people who this means so much to them because they, they, they kind of grew up alongside us and helped them with some really difficult things in their lives and just very proud to, to be a part of something that means so much to so many. I've been thinking about something Dumbledore said to me. If we've got one thing that Voldemort doesn't have, something worth fighting for. It was on my screen test. Please don't tell. Talking to me. And I kept forgetting that I have to talk back to him because I'm so used to watching him on a screen. <laughs> so I would just kind of be like... And I kind of contributed to the whole Luna Lovegood vibe <laughs> because she is a bit space. Hello, everyone. A dreadful run. Because I was definitely trying to steal my wand, and I yeah. worry that if I had, I'd probably have lost it by now somewhere. You know they don't work, Tom. Well, I've been assured that <laughs> in time, with enough practice, <laughs> it would work. Yeah. But it's quite funny yeah, looking back at it now, it? us doing these incredibly elaborate moves and... When you do your spell, it will blow up. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually really surprised and scared by my own reaction because I thought... There was this horrible set thrill of power. Right. You know, like, I've had that amount... It's a lot more satisfying than, than you know, making a feather levitate. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Harry.
Do not pity the dead, Harry. And above all, all those who live without love. It does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. Richard Harris was such a special, warm person. He was so twinkly. Oh, Richard was classic. Probably one of the funniest men I've ever met. He was this devilish 11-year-old trapped in a 70-plus-year-old man's body. Can you give us another 12, please? <laughs> he just glint in his eye, which made him per the perfect Dumbledore, by the way. He was brutally hilarious. He was just delicious as uh, Mr. Dursley. There's something as magic. He embraced goodness with such verve and passion. Parson was the one that has affected me most because he was generous with knowledge. He was just like wanted to share with you. I wondered when I'd be seeing you, Mr. Potter. I feel really lucky to be, to have some, you know, some little bit of touch with the amount of amazing people that have passed. The Dark Lord himself forbade me to speak of this. Helen McCrory played my wife. I said, I think I just met the best actress I've ever seen in my life. Come. I feel lucky to have worked with her and shared just so much. Um. She had this ability, yeah, just to sort of, to show such empathy in our eyes. It was a, it was a real treat to work with her. I can teach you how to bewitch the mind and in senses. Alan Rickman never talked to me like I was a child. He always took my thoughts and opinions very seriously, which I was always very touched by. A uh, very dear friend. And we had that final scene, his final scene. It answers to you. And you only. Does it? I was a little intimidated, him, his precision, his expert delivery of lines, and we were to toe in a funny way, you know, Snape and Voldemort. Two actors can relish, orally fencing with each other. Alan was a magician in that way as an actor. What's the lover sniffer really leave us? We can always find them. In here. As well as the physical challenge of making the films, there was that small pressure of thinking, you're the one who's going to finish this. It has to go out high. It has to be meaningful. It has to resonate. It has to deliver. Exactly, how did you know? It's your first day, how does it feel? It feels absolutely fantastic. Are you excited? Very interesting. After all this preparation, <laughs> finally happening. Okay, get back to what we need to pamper you. Yeah. Hey. What do you think about when you think about it now, Ruth? Back on, like, like for me, it's very good memories. Yeah. Like, what is it for you? I'm very proud to have been part of them. I think kind of a weird time, yeah. especially kind of finishing. I feel like I lost track of who I was and who the character was. I didn't really know where they ended or began. Yeah, there was something, am I? Like, what do I like to do? Or what, what is important to me? Like, it's weird yeah. things, even my name feel like my name. I, yeah. I felt I only really knew how to do one thing. Yeah. yeah. I knew how to play wrong. It was my favorite character, so it was so cool being in the film. It's like we did the most extreme form of method acting. 
it always had to end at some point. We were never going to be doing this forever. The way it feels for me now, like seeing you here, having had time apart, I try not to get emotional. It feels like you're like a pillar of my life. It's a very overwhelming thing because I've watched you grow up. We've watched each other grow up. We grew up together. We're family. We always will be. We don't need to see each other. <laughs> Even though we don't see each other all the time. Yeah, it's a strong, a strong bond that we'll always have and we will always be part of each other's life. So nice to see you. See you. I love you. As a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be clear Just for clear. everyone watching. <laughs> There's so much love. Thanks, <laughs> Rubes. Let's do a rehearsal. Just way back on this, way back on the floor. When you're ready, and action. One of the last shots we did in the entire shoot. It was such a metaphor for what was actually happening. We had to like jump onto a map basically to travel into another. Collective emotion was incredibly palpable and for the people who'd supported them and had been there for them throughout. Everybody seen them grow up. On that last day I just lost it. I remember all of us just holding each other. All three of us were like utterly devastated. I think it was the first time we'd allowed ourselves to even process or realize we'd done it. We'd made it through. It's so ingrained in me as well as in my life with these movies. Someone says like, oh, when did you pass your driving test? I'm like, Order of the Phoenix. Every part of my life is connected to Potter. When I meet people who it's a really important part of their life or the books or the films were in some way like a part of their identity, it, it makes you really proud. There's something about Harry Potter that makes life richer. Like when things get really dark and times are really hard, stories give us places we can go where we can rest and feel held. The story is told within them, the individual characters' journeys. I just think such a transformative effect on people. That's magic. Every child wonders how they're going to fit in. Uh, and it's an epic journey that uh, every child goes on. Stay close to me until the end. I have found it an extraordinary world to be involved with. And it's a, it's a beautiful world. And very grateful that it's been passed down to other generations. Training for the ballet, Potter! One of the things that was unique about Harry Potter, besides the incredible imagination world and characters that Joe Rowling created, was the fact to see young children grow into adults. To see that journey on film, I don't think we've ever seen that before. I don't know if we'll ever see it again. I just feel so lucky that I get to be part of a world that people love so much and makes people happy. There's something about those the escapism you find the healthy form of escapism. That, I think, is kind of what Harry Potter does. And that's what these stories are for. They are a guide how to live. I just think it's an end of an year. It's a ten, 10 years of my life, and my, my children have grown up during it, of course. That is uh, Robbie Coltrane, finest gamekeeper in Hogwarts, last day on Harry Potter. The legacy of the movies is that my children's generation, so you could be watching it in 50 years' time. Easy. I'll not be here, sadly. But, <laughs> but Haggard will. Yes. Kind of looking back at it now, I'm just really fond memory. I think about it a lot. It was a great time. It really was. It was, it was amazing. <laughs> it's just the best, most amazing experience in it. I can't really explain to you, like, they're such good people. They were so kind. They both took the responsibility of it really seriously, and I appreciated that so much. It really is like family. We're just so intrinsically linked. They're very important people to me. The crew on these films were unbelievable. There are people in these films that are... are... Uh, 
foundational to who I am. Um, as a person, an actor, I feel so lucky to be where I am and have the life that I have and be able to work with the people I work with now. But none of it is possible without this. Um, so yeah, it was, it was very, it was a very good 10 years. After all this time, always. Nossa. Maravilhoso. Sem palavras. Sim. Eu não achei que eu ia me emocionar tanto assim, mas... Não tem Puta como. Merda. Não tem como mesmo. <risos> Nossa. E foi, foi tanta coisa assim que eles falaram. 20 anos, né? 20 anos. Nossa, foi... Maravilhoso. Valeu a pena, galera. Foi, foi mágico. Foi. Foi muito mágico. Tá é choque ainda, né? A gente tá. Sim, a gente tá gravando aqui. Nem percebi que a gente tava gravando. Nem lembrei, na verdade. Não, nem eu. Acho que esse momento de pedir pra. Quem tá assistindo, né? Se é que tem alguém assistindo até o fim, se inscrever aqui no canal e deixar o like nesse vídeo. E agradecer por ter assistido. Por ter Sim, muito obrigada. Obrigado a gente. Eu, eu não sei o que dizer. Foi, foi muito não, especial é... mesmo. Sim. Muito. Hum.